All right, everybody, we've got a lion right here. Um, she's just put her head down. No, she's still watching us. Okay, we're gonna try and show you where she is. Okay, um, come this side. Straight across that fallen down tree there. She's just got her face in the shade though, so you're gonna have to lift up your arms through this gap. Let's see if we can get a bit closer to show you these lines. We've got some lines on foot, and lines on foot are always a tricky thing. They tend to run away from you, but what we're going to try and do is show you them and then call in Byron, who's been looking for these cats for most of the morning. So, okay, there she stood up now, through the gap there, and the male. Right, two females is what we've got there. You see her face? There we go. There we go. Alrighty, so we've got these lines on foot. We're not going to get any closer because it's going to make it very difficult to find them again. So within view of them, what we're going to do now is create some distance backwards so that they see us moving away. And then we're going to call Byron in and hopefully he'll be able to show you these cats a little bit closer. Okay, let's back off. Back off back to the Turmoil Mound. They must just see us backing away. Here we go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to call in Byron. If I can have a game drive radio. Thank you. All right. Uh, one. Oh, hang on. The radio's speaking to me. I didn't quite know. I never use these things. Uh, Byron, Byron, coming for Steph. Go ahead, Steph. Now we relocated these animals. They are between Aubrey's and Gallagher Shortcut. Uh, best approach would be from Aubrey's. Um, Come down, Aubrey's, until I get you audio, and then I'll direct you in. Copy that, Steph. We'll be there shortly. We'll be there area shortly. Thank you. Well done. All right. So Byron's on his way in. We're going to help him get into the sighting with the radio, and um, basically, we're just going to try and see where we are closest to. I think we're closest to Aubrey's here. The easiest would be Aubrey's, I think, to come in from the road there. And now, just to make sure that they are not going to move away too much, the bush is quite thick here, but we should be able to get a car in. And those lines were far enough away, they were about 100 yards away or so. And um, that's not close enough to chase these animals away. I'm not too sure. All right, and that's pretty much how you bump into lines. They, you hear them roaring, you walk into the area, they stick their head up, hopefully it's not too close to you, and, um, and then you call in a car. That's, uh, I don't, it's textbook, really. They didn't growl at us, they didn't run away from us. They watched us create some distance, and although the wind is blowing quite strongly in their general direction, let's just see exactly, this is an ash bag, yeah, you see it. Our scent is blowing almost directly onto them, which is probably why they stood up in the first place. It shouldn't be too bad for them. All right, so we're going to send you over to Taylor looking for those leopard. We're going to try and get Byron in here to show you those cats from closer by, and uh, yeah, nice. See you later.